Boom. Happy Friday to everybody. It's the last day of May, May 31st here in central Mississippi. Tomorrow, Saturday, June 1st is the start of Pride Month. You know the routine. You better buckle down and watch out for your husbands and your kids because the rainbow supremacy has got their sights set right on them. They have definitely got a target on your kids. So FYI, keep an eye out on them. And uh, otherwise, it should be a great month. So with all that said, let's hit a story that we covered a few weeks ago, a few months ago. Sometime over the last six months, we've covered this story on my radio show with um, Sean Yurkaran. This is an update to that story. It's something I want to make sure that we try to do when there's big updates available. It's something I always got pissed off about when the local media, especially newspapers and stuff back in the day, would run a big juicy headline, cover story. And then the follow-up, when the person was found innocent, charges dismissed, whatever the case may be, they just maybe ran a little back page blip, something in the back of page 10. We're going to try to do things a little differently here and not be a hypocrite. We covered the Ivana Williams, Mississippi Highway Patrol sex video scandal pretty in-depth on my radio show. And there's been a big update to that. There was also a sexual assault charge as part of that deal where the female victim claims that she had been sexually assaulted and filmed without her permission. Ivana was eventually uh, relieved of her duties at MHP for something to do with that video being shared around and obviously pornography, nudity, stuff like that. It's against the rules to share that at work. At the end of the day, without going into the, the details of it all, so court was today in this case and the other girl decided not to show up and to drop the charges on her end. Now she still has a federal lawsuit pending and look, I don't understand all that, but here's WLBT with details on this story. A sex tape scandal making its way through the state's highway patrol. Well, tonight, the woman who claimed to be exploited now wants the case permanently dropped. Investigative reporter CJ LeMaster joins us with exclusive details. CJ? Well, Howard, the judge agreed to do what she wanted, dismissed a restraining order in Rankin County Chancery Court today. Let me break it all down for you. Back in December, the alleged victim in this case filed a motion for a temporary restraining order to keep then MHP trooper Ivana Williams from sharing a sex video of the two of them with anybody else. The alleged victim here claims Williams shot the video on her phone without the victim's consent and shared it with several people. Now that motion was filed in Rankin County Chancery Court today, nearly six months later, that same woman asked for the motion to be dismissed with prejudice, meaning it cannot be brought up again and the judge approved that, effectively ending this chancery court case. But we don't know why the woman in this case had a change of heart. We couldn't ask her because she didn't show up in court today. A lawyer who wasn't even listed as the woman's attorney for today's hearing shared all of this with the judge. Our investigation tonight uncovered that the woman's last two attorneys actually withdrew from representing her because of conflicts they couldn't get past. Those allegations have not been proven and Williams has not been criminally charged. The alleged victim's federal civil suit against Williams is still ongoing. Williams filed a counterclaim against her in that federal suit, saying that all of this has ruined her reputation. The Department of Public Safety fired Williams in February for unprofessional conduct. She has maintained her innocence in social media posts. Courtney Ann. All right, so Ivana put this on TikTok earlier. So we do have a response to her after court here. We would play this as fair as we can here here is ivana williams on social media responding or giving an update on the court outcome for the ones who have been following my story since day one today is may 30th and the outcome of court this morning was dismissed with prejudice and yes it is a win for me but for her not to even show up is disheartening for me because I wanted to face my attacker and I am not a victim mentality type person but yes I feel like she's the attacker she's the aggressor because she has came after me my job my character and I have yet to be able to really 
come out and speak about it but as we go and as the days continue then I'll be able to talk more and more about it and I look forward to that day so until then just uh, keep tagging along keep showing support this is only one hurdle and I have many more to go all right so there's Ivana giving her update on it like I said one thing I want to make sure we do here is cover the follow-up to these stories because the accusations against Ivana were pretty bad. Uh, the other girl was claiming that she got her drunk or drugged her or something to that extent and took advantage of her against her will sexually and filmed it. <clears throat> now, I don't think anybody argues that there was some activities there, some adult activities, and there was a video filmed. Uh, the permission and everything else, that is what's up for debate. But the other girl decided to move on from it. Again, the federal lawsuit's still pending. I don't know how she'll work that out. I don't know if she still has an attorney. Any details? We wish everybody the best in this. Wish Ivana the best. She's got a uh, an appeals board hearing with the state employees board. Or actually, it just says right here. Somebody asked her on TikTok, did you get your job back? And she goes, I have court with the employee appeal board in October. I want to make sure I worded that properly. So we will see. I wouldn't see her getting her job back. She got fired for allegedly sharing the video around, which I guess is behavior unbecoming of a trooper at the end of the day and maybe some other stuff. I don't know all the details. Uh, full disclosure, Ivana was my neighbor. She's been on my radio show a few times, and I have no problem with Ivana. I actually like Ivana, and uh, we wish her all the best, and hopefully she'll do well in life once she uh, gets on the other side of all this. Be sure to tune into the Clay Edwards Show every Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And hey, guys, are you having a little trouble in the bedroom yourselves? May I implore you to check out Men's Health in Mississippi? Get your testosterone levels checked. You could be suffering from low testosterone. Here are some of the symptoms of low T. Fatigue, decreased muscle tone, lack of energy, low libido, that's your sex drive, brain fog, and sleep disturbance, as well as... Not mentioned there, erectile dysfunction. It's all ha, 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 funny, 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 until it's you. <laughs> anyway, text my name, Clay, all caps, to 601-327-8550. 601-327-8550. And we're going to do a free, get you hooked up with a free testosterone screening from Men's Health in Mississippi, located right out there on Fountains Boulevard in Madison, Mississippi. Also. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, the FAFO, the F Around Find Out Clay Edwards Show shirt, you can order it at buyfafo.com. That's buyfafo.com. We also have hats and flags available too. Check them out. Check me out on the radio. Check out the podcast. Hit subscribe. Hit share. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And we will see you on the radio. And as I always like to say, as Kim Wade would say, if you're in Jacktown, you better stay strapped down. Enjoy your weekends and watch out for those rainbow supremacists as we head into June.